Good morning. So we are in McCall, Idaho. Look at this awesome statue. These are bears. But here's Lake McCall. I think that's the name of it. Look at the snow in the mountains. But we are camped straight ahead off the shore of the lake. It's been really cold and they had snow a couple days ago. It didn't stick. But um, a lot of stuff isn't open yet because it's been so cold. Like tourists are not here yet. This place is really neat though. But um, I like this statue. But they have a really nice Albertsons here. So diesel is $5.79. It's not bad. Um, it's actually it was fairly... We only spent $200 to drive 650 miles to get out here, which is not bad. I thought it was going to be worse. We got 17 miles per gallon pulling the trailer. But we're going to walk around and find some coffee. Oh my gosh, I saw this. That is hilarious. So she's standing in a cotton candy tub. <laughs> Look at her teeth. <laughs> but... Um, we are walking down by the lake some more. Ah, oh, so nice here. Oh, there are some shops right over there also. Just gonna see what these signs say. Wow. Pay it? Oh, it's Pay it Lake, not McCall Lake. Town history. So we we're at the Albertsons in McCall now, and we had to stop at the pharmacist. But to check out this deck. Oh, oh excuse me. <laughs> Drinking coffee. They have a little outside fireplace here. Got some heaters up here. All kinds of tables. So, uh, you see this when you drive by, it looks so nice. And look at the view. The lake is right there. The mountains. Can't get over all the snow still. But um, we're going to keep walking around town. We want to check out the Albertsons General Store. We need to find some pillows. So beautiful out today. The high is like 60. But the sun is out. So they actually have RV trailer spots in the back of the Albertsons here. Um, no overnight parking though. But when we came through in the RV, I did not know where we were going to park. And we could have parked right here. So that is really neat. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And so the, this is the back lot, basically. So we are at the old McCall Jail. 1930. Wow. How'd you like to be in there? This was built for $650 in 1930. Huh. Look at that door. Jeez. Not sure if, um, I think that's it. Yeah, this shed is part of the bike thing next door. So that's the old jail. Looks like there's a stove in there for heat. And that's it. All right, we are back down by the lake again. Here's the marina. And you can rent, uh, I think you can rent some boats here and jet skis and things um, I hope I would think you could um, but they love volleyball oh, look how blue it is and I think there's a little ski hill straight back there it's not very big and the lake is surrounded by houses really neat but we're gonna go eat at this Mexican restaurant over here. It opens in like five minutes. There goes the pontoon boat. 
They're racing. Wow, it's going faster than the speedboat, the water ski boat. Crazy. How is that possible? <laughs> wow. Oh, this is, oh, look at the paddle border. Jeez. This is nice. We want to just stay here. <laughs> I think we're at 5,000 feet, my guesstimate. And it is supposed to be, I think, 60 today. Feels warmer though with the sun out. I have no jacket on. All right, we are almost to that restaurant. They have a lot of public restrooms here, which is nice. Oh, little compass. So that is north. That way. So hopefully our kitty is sleeping in the sun, basking in the window. We're gonna buy her a real pillow. She was better last night. She had her pillow and her toys. She didn't terrorize us all night. <laughs> it was pretty bad the first night. So we're at a Mexican restaurant on the water. We got fajitas, chicken fajitas. Chips and salsa. But this is our view. So this is our first full day at Ponderosa State Park. And Zoe, this is one of our favorite spots. Besides the bedroom, sleeping by this window. In the back by the dining room table. She is tired. One tired kitty. She was a lot better last night. So here's our setup. Um, it's really nice, big, and private. Like we have no one on the side. We're the end person. But uh, we bought a flower and we locked our bikes up on the tree. And I'm gonna start a fire tonight. Um, it'll be fun. So this trailer is really nice. It has dedicated water hookups for either city water or to fill the tank. The RV we had was different. It just had a switch. Um, I really like this. For the tank, it's gravity fed. You just put the hose in. Um, so you could basically pour water into it with a funnel if you wanted to. But um, again, we got no neighbors. Very quiet. But I want to show you the problem we had. So here, our 30 amp is broken. Luckily, we have an adapter. Um, so we're plugged into the 15 amp. Um, we can run everything but the air conditioner. And if we do the microwave, we got to make sure everything else is off. Uh, we're running the fridge on gas because of it, but um, it's kind of a pain. We thought the furnace broke because the batteries were dead because we weren't getting any power from the 30 amp plugged in, even though the RV said it was plugged in. Um, it was horrible, <laughs> but we got it working for now for what we need. We saw one deer today though already. Here's the bathroom building. It's really nice. Um, the showers, you gotta keep hitting a button every minute to keep the water on. But um, it was, the water was warm. It was, I would say hot, not scalding hot, but the bathrooms are not heated. That was the only bad thing. Um, so if it's freezing, you probably don't wanna take a shower. <laughs> so we have access to the bike trail here. I know. And this is what I was hoping. Um, but the main bike trail that we're going to do tomorrow, we could probably do like oh, 15, 20 miles if we do all the various side loops and stuff. If you just do the main loop, it's probably 10, 12 miles. It's 
Ponderosa Pine, Ponderosa State Park or Ponderosa Pine? I can't remember if their pine is in the name or not. So this is neat. It's a tent on a trailer. I've never seen anything like it before. Jumping jack I might make it. But that is really neat. It's probably super light. And then it has like a porch on the back. Wow. All right, so we're walking around Ponderosa State Park, and here is a pile of snow still, and it's like one day till June 1st. That is crazy, jeez. It looks so out of place. But um, we're trying to get to the trail that goes by the lake, which is to our left right there. So here's the back of the visitor center. It's really nice. But um, you can rent these cabins. And they have a beach right here. Oh, and there's more private land coming up. So you have to go to the road to get out of here. So we found some awesome chairs back at the visitor center. Enjoying the sunset I think you can rent that little tiny house over there maybe I'm not really sure it could be private the private residences come right up to the park battery Well, we are walking back to the trailer. Been out for a little over an hour. And it's 7, 7.15 maybe? Mosquitoes are thick. Put the campgrounds over there. And this is sage, we think. All the little bushes in the field here. Well, we are back. See how our kitty's doing. So I was gonna make a fire time. I wait till tomorrow. I need to do some charging of things and checking on some files. Make a fire tomorrow night. It's supposed to be really warm tomorrow. You know what? I'm gonna put this in the fire. This is our fire starter. Alright, let's get some video of the kitty, if I can find the keys. Oh my gosh, having troubles. <laughs> so we still have no neighbor across the way. Alright, got the keys. Let's um, see what kind of havoc Zoe caused. Oh, she is right there. She's just waiting for us. Say hi to the people, Zoe. Say hi to the camera. Look, Zoe, look at the camera. Oh, she's looking out the door. <laughs> Uh, we had an awesome day today. Bike, we hiked. My bike is fixed. I'm going to pick it up at 10 in the morning. They put new um, tubes in, both tires. But um, I got a fire I'm starting. I'm going to sit outside for a bit. And we got some mango margaritas and some beer.
but I'm using a fire starter um, instead of paper and cardboard. I had a bunch of cardboard and I accidentally recycled it, threw it away. Should have saved it for this, but I think the fire starter will work. Four bundles of wood from Albertsons. But Mary and Zoe are inside. So he's probably watching me out that window in the back. Oh, I got the fire going. It's 65 degrees out. It's really nice. Wednesday night, June 1st. But um, probably have a fire tomorrow too. It's supposed to be even warmer. Five degrees warmer. But yeah, tomorrow we're going to try and bike 15 to 20 miles. Um, see how that goes. My wife says she doesn't want to change her tubes or tires. She wants to live dangerously. So <laughs> I hope she doesn't get a flat. That would... I'm sure my weight and the weight of my bike um, made them deteriorate faster, I hope. Um, I hope hers, I hope she doesn't have that problem. I've never had that problem before, but never had a bike this old either that I've been riding still. So, <clears throat> be interesting to see how much it cost. 30 bucks, 40 bucks, I'm guessing, for the two tubes and labor. It's worth it. I almost asked them to do a tuna, but I WD 40 would everything. We got our flowers on the table. Yeah, our cat loves this park. It is so quiet here. She's seen squirrels, deer, birds. Not a lot of birds, but she um, she loves looking out the window. She is very content in the trailer, and she knows what it means when we put her in the her carrier, and get in the truck, and we open it once we're in the truck, so she knows she's not like locked in there forever. It takes up probably three fourths of the back seat, so. She has a lot of room and if she wants to stay inside of it when we're driving. I'll have to do a product demo of that thing. I want to say it was 120 bucks, Amazon. So look at the two deer eating in our campsite right by the road behind us. Pretty neat. Let's see if I can get closer. Oh, that is neat. Wow. Hi, dear. We're not going to hurt you. We saw one, was it yesterday? I wonder if it's the same one. And we didn't see the other one at the time. You're okay. 